Hey everyone, it's currently, what day is it? It's Monday night, um, super seen this on Tuesday obviously. Um, I haven't posted a video all weekend, I've been very busy with cricket, at work, um, and other bits and bobs. Tonight I'm going to show you something pretty cool, um, I'm going to show you my vlog camera collection. Um, this is basically all, all my cameras that I've used um, throughout the years of vlogging, um, sort of before and after, and di different cameras that I've used. Um, the only camera I won't be using, showing you which is my DSLR, which I'll be recording this actual video with. So in a moment you're going to be switching over to that view, and I'll be showing you these. I'm just going to run through all my cameras, tell you what, um, what, I've, used, let's say what I've used them for, roughly how much they cost, uh, and just what I think was the best bit about them really, and, what, and why I stopped using them. So guys, as I was saying, I'm going to show you my uh, vlog camera collection. I'm testing out this lens here at the moment. I don't really know what this quality is going to be like. I don't really know how it's going to turn out. But I'm using a brand new lens that I bought for my DSLR. It's a Sigma... Um, I can't remember what it is. <laughs> Sigma 24mm uh, 1.4. Um, I think I don't think I like it though, but anyway, um, I'm going to quickly show you my vlog camera collection, the cameras that I used and what I used them for. Um, so this is the first camera I ever, first sort of digital camera as such I ever, I ever um, purchased. It's a Panasonic Lumix DMC uh, SZ1, I think it is. Um, this camera, uh, I I think it was, I can't, I think it was maybe 18, 90 quid. I can't remember too well how much it was, but. I used this camera originally when I went to download festival. Um, I wanted a camera with a big zoom so I could zoom right into the bands from quite far away and it actually did the job um, that I bought it for. Um, it, it was an okay sort of general camera but I, I really I really bought this for um, download festival because it was a sort of cheap throwaway camera but really really good quality. Um, I used this in all my original download videos, um, the ones that got quite a lot of views when I went to see Metallica and Iron Maiden and Black Sabbath and bands like that. Um, this camera still works and is still good for that purpose. It's just the quality is not as good. Um, it's got 10 times optical zoom. Um, I can't. I think it. I think it records in 10x. I don't know if I've got any batteries in it. No, the batteries are a bit flat at the moment. I probably don't have any in. Um, but I, I, I bought two spare batteries for this. That's one of them. The, that's, that's one of the official ones. I think I got. I think I bought two non-official ones, which just did the job just as good. Uh, it took a standard SD um, memory card slot as always, but um, it had lots of various different modes and stuff. Usual sort of modes that you'd expect from a um, a digital camera, but. Um, that was one of the first ones I ever used. I don't have really too much to say about it in regards to a vlog camera because it wasn't really, I didn't really use it as a vlog camera, it was more of just a um, sort of recording videos, a music festival type camera, but um, I still used it and I, if, I don't know, I don't think I will ever use it anymore, um, but it's it's got worth a little bit of value now. It's still worth, what, 40, 50 pounds because these cameras that I don't think they make anymore, they're quite obsolete, um, but this camera it's worth about 40, 50 pounds um, because it's such a, probably such a good camera. I'll never sell it though, I'm going to keep this because it's nice to have a little collection of cameras. So that was the first one I ever bought. Um, the second vlog camera, probably familiar with this camera, a lot of vloggers used it. It's the Ixus 255HS. Now if you try to see it's a bit dusty, it's been sat in a box at the side of my bed for a long time. Um, if you try to get one of these cameras online, you're going to pay a lot of money. It will it would cost a hell of a lot of money to get one of these cameras. Um, look at that, that's, that's vlogception. Look, you're looking through a... <laughs> um, this camera, I think this camera cost me 165, 170 pounds. Um, it was, I, I got this when it first came out. I think it was three, four years ago. Uh, I'm not sure, but a lot of vloggers used to do this, and it's such a reliable camera. I stopped using this because on the front of it, I don't know if you can see it on this lens. I'll just um, see if I can just give it a little bit of a focus. See if I can bring it in, kind of focus it. Can you see it all? Just on the lens there, you might be able to see two little scratches. Um, that actually, you can actually, can you hear that? You can actually feel it. That's what stopped me from using this camera because of the scratches on the lens. Um, and when you're actually recorded, wait, let me just um, set it up. It's still got charged batteries, which is good. Um, I don't think you can see it, but I'm trying to find somewhere. I don't think you'll be able to see, but it's got two. Um, when you actually record, it's got like a blur. And in some of my sort of vlogs, I think it's the, sort of the first sort of four, five hundred vlogs. Potentially, you'll see like a little mark. You might just see it on the screen, just there, just in the middle. Um, I had two. You get two little like blurred marks. Just refocus the camera. And um, two little blurred marks. And it stopped me from using this. And as a result, I, I've been trying to find one of these cameras. Still, like if I go and see X, I look for one of them because they they are really quite rare. I've only ever found pink ones, um, but I don't think I'd want a pink one. Um, but these cameras are generally a good all-round purpose camera. If you ever manage to get your hands on one of these, um, please do. Um, when I'm telling you about these cameras, I'm not going to give you like full specs about them and stuff, because honestly, I can't remember. They all, they all record, in, they all record video. Um, like I said, this is an Ixa 255HS, full HD, Wi-Fi. 
a really, really good camera. I wish I could get another one of these at some point. It had a big crack, but a big crack on the screen, but that didn't affect it. But this camera I use so much, you can probably tell by the state of it. Um, people have asked me to give this camera away, but I don't want to give it away. It's still a really good camera. I would still use it now, but um, I have better alternatives. Um, I just had to quickly nip away because I was just looking at my camera collection and realising that I was actually missing a vital camera from my collection. So that was the first Canon one that I got. I'm a, I'm a Canon geek. I'm, I'm, I just prefer Canon. I don't know why I always have always sort of gravitated towards it. So that was my second one. So I got the Panasonic Lumix. I got the Canon Ixa 255HS. The next camera which I use, which a hell of a lot of vloggers still use, and to be fair, I still use it as a backup camera. The Canon PowerShot um, S120 um, does the exact same jobs, but as you can see, this is absolutely knackered. Um, I dropped this on, I think it was the fifth day I got it, when me and my sister went to um, the East Coast. Um, I went to go past it or I did something and um, we dropped it and it smashed all the screen. Um, the, the If you look on the top there, that's all style taped up, um, but it still works. It's still charged and it's still a, a very, very good camera. You will always see this is like my backup camera um, whenever my um, that camera over there. Uh, is uncharged, but um, this camera, I liked it. Um, I think I like it a little bit more than the camera that I use now, but it's it's some features aren't as good as the X S two fifty five H S. As you can tell, I'm not being very technical with my explanations here. Um, but that had quite a, quite a nice sort of zoom lens. It was just a general all around nice camera. It was quite light as well. Um, compare it to. The X's 255HS. The X's 255HS was quite small, quite thin. Um, so it was sim when I got when I went to this one, it wasn't much different from using this one. Um, compared to the camera I use now, which is quite chunky. Um, just to refocus that. Um, as you can see, I smashed both my screens just because when you're vlogging every single day of the year, or when I used to, these cameras do get a hell of a lot of bashing. And to be fair, credit to Canon, they do last. Um, they're quite versatile. You can sm you can drop. I wouldn't advise dropping them around, but um, they do last and. Um, I don't, well they do break, I've obviously found that, but um, you can stick them back together. I've done that a few times. And um, this one has one of them um, twisty lenses, um, to sort of focus, quick focusing, whatever you want to call it. it loads of little dials and options, just like the other one. But um, this camera is still very good, and I will, I still use it. If I'm ever doing like double, if I'm ever doing double takes or shots, or things where I need like more than one lens, I'll, um, or more than one sort of view, I'll use this one. I'll probably still take this, Place it with me really. It's a nice little backup camera. Um, so that's my th that was my third of a vlog camera. In between all sorts of vlog cameras, um, I had a, I got myself a GoPro um, Hero Three Plus. Um, I I haven't used this for ages. I don't really use my GoPro much now. Um, I don't really have opportunity to move, use it. I don't really. I don't know. Probably don't make opportunities, but I don't. Um, I don't know. I guess. I really should use it more, but I love these little cameras, and to be fair, I don't want the 4. I, I would like the 4, but I have no reason to use it, so this will do for now. And then onto my final camera, so I've got the S120, we've got the 255HS, they've got the Panasonic Lumix, we've got the GoPro Hero 3 Plus, stick that there. And the camera that I use at the moment for vlogging is my Canon G7X, um, another popular camera, although a lot of other vloggers like to use this, is it the Sony one? Um, I can't even think what other alternative it was, but this was... Um, a bit of a costly upgrade. I think the Canon S120 was £250 potentially. That was £180, that was £90. Um, this was a costly. I think this cost me, was it £450 possibly? I'm not sure, but Canon G7X. I've not had this for too long. Um, I actually haven't smashed this one up yet. I haven't been, I've been keeping this um, in quite good condition. Probably because I don't use it as much now. I don't post daily vlogs every single day, even though I you really should I really should um, but this is it basically just an upgrade on this 120 but if you look at the size difference there's quite a considerable difference it's a lot chunkier and because of this lens bit here it sticks out in your pocket a lot more like the other one was quite nice to sort of carry around but this one it's it does get a bit chunky but you sort of you get used to it um, if I could have this this what this features and this features mixed in with that and the weight of that it would be a really good camera but um, I'm not a great fan of this one. The autofocus isn't very good compared to the other two. Um, but what I do love is I love this flippy out lens. Um, I use this camera for pretty much everything. Um, even though it's not got it's not got the best zoom like that one. That one has quite good zoom. It doesn't have the best autofocus. It's just generally such a, much of a clearer sort of photo. A um, little bit of vlogception there. Look look at look at all my cameras. Little show. I didn't when you actually put all the cameras together, you don't actually realize how many cameras you have. Um, but this is, I say, this is the power on it, uh, power well, that Canon PowerShot G7X with Wi Fi and full HD, everything else. Um, see if I've got any what modes does it have. 
Um, it does uh, 60 frames per second, 1080, that's really good. Uh, 30 frames per second at 1080, it has, um, and then 30 seconds at 1020. I always use 1080 at 30 frames, I think. Do I? I can't remember. Yeah, I use. I think I use that one. Um, but that is that is absolutely insane when you record with it. It's so smooth. Probably should do more videos with this setting, but um, it would take a age to upload to YouTube. Um, so yeah, this has been my little vlog camera collection. Um, probably not the most technical in the world. Um, <laughs> well, by far not the most technical in the world. Um, but just some interesting for you guys to watch. It's about 10 minutes long already, this video. Quite surprised. I can ramble and talk for quite a while. Um, so this is like being my set, this is my, my little collection, I've got all my camera, three Canons, my Panasonic and also this camera I'm recording with is my Canon um, DSLR um, 600D, is it 600D or is it 650? Or 700, 700 isn't it? 700, yeah, sorry, socked stuff there. Yeah, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up, comment below, um, try and get a nice little thumbnail now, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more videos like this, um, comment below and I will see you in the next vlog. Now, do you remember in this vlog it said our future projections was something like in five years' time I was going to be down 800 in a year's time, in, in what, 30 days I was going to lose five, five subscribers? Now on Social Blade, this is my channel, 1,170 uploads, however many 